Instagram and its marketing watch house. And thanks a lot for watching me, for all the subscriptions, for all the comments and likes you've put in previous videos. I try to make the videos very helpful and to explain everything I can, but never hesitate to ask questions below in the comments. If you have something that is unclear for you or something that, uh, for example, I made a mistake when I was uh, recording this video, you're always welcome to leave your feedback and that helps me a lot to improve the content and to make these videos interesting for you. So today we're going to analyze the search queries. We are not going to cover anything at all that you haven't done yet. We're just trying to build a custom report that you can be you can use on everyday basis. So what is search query report or search terms? Is what actual what queries were people typing in Google when they clicked or seen our keywords? So to do so, we first need to understand where is the query data. It's if I'm not mistaken, yeah. So it's in the search query stats and where is the, or where are all the queries? I'm not sure. I will double check. Do we have actual query here? Mm, yeah, we have a query here. So we can use this table. Let's try to write the query. So let's, for the beginning, take everything and then use Google Ads um, table with search query stats. Then we need to join these data just for the beginning. Uh, I don't, I'm not going to use the keywords data here. I only will use the campaigns level. So let's join left join this with the campaigns. It's going to be Google ads and then campaign level data using um, external customer ID. I'm more than sure it's going to be here. Ad group ID, it's campaign ID, and it's external customer ID. By the way, the order of the fields here does not matter. I forgot that here it's not going to be campaign level, sorry, it's going to be ad group level first, just to make it simple. Ad group. Then I'm going to draw to copy this and again and again. Here is going to be campaign in campaign we don't have ad group and here is going to be customer in a customer we don't have campaign and ad group IDs so this should work the only mistake right now that I have duplicated fields in all these tables so let's start first with where I want to only take um, Let's give it the name. So this is going to be ADG stands for ad group. This is going to be CMP for campaign. And this is going to be ACC for account. And this is going to be search terms. It's going to be from two letters. Okay. What do we need to do? We're going to need to do a lot of filters. First, ADG dot underscore data date equals adg dot underscore um, what is what was last date no let's have a look it's latest date so by the way if you don't see these fields in your table you're probably using p underscore whereas I recommend you to use just customer or campaign then let's copy this say and and put here CMP then and and here is going to be ACC for account and we also need to make another filter that is going to be in the query stats in the query stats we need to define um, underscore data date that are that we are using and data date is something that represents in this table where the search term the search term was triggered 
So in our case, I want to say I want a data for the past 14 days. I usually would say, for example, 2020, then the 1st and 2nd and the 1st. So this the 1st of February. But it's not very convenient and useful to use. By the way, here is going to be search terms. It's not very convenient to use because I have to go here time by time and always write what was the date 10 days ago. So there is a very beautiful customer um, there is a very beautiful custom formula that is called that is called date add. And inside we do current date comma interval minus 15 days. So why minus 15 days, not 14 days? Because, uh, sorry, not days, but day. Uh, because we also exclude today's date, which is not in the report. And if, um, yeah, we also have to exclude today's date from the report because it's not there. And in this case, I will have the data for last four, uh, for, for uh, last two weeks. Sometimes I want to define different period of time. It's going to be, for example, one month and that will go and automatically on exactly the same day, 10th of February in January. You also can play around and do, you do it with a year or you can do it with a week. It also will work. But for now, we're going to use day and we also need to do solve the problem of duplicate column names. So just for now, I'm going to say that I want to search term dot everything. So I want to everything we have. No, let's not do that. Let's just use query because it's going to be too many columns. And that let's do campaign name, which is unique. It only comes from campaign name, add group name. And then um, what was the name? I always forget the name for account account descriptive name as account name. And we also need some stats, some stats from query table. So we need cost and cost is going to be divided by one, two, three, four, five, six as cost. Then let's do some impressions. And then um, are there any clicks? Yeah, clicks. So we have a cost, we have impression, we have clicks. That would be enough. One more thing we need to double check if I am right about the data date. So date from partition time is data date. And there is another one that is called here date. I'm not sure I need to double check that but I think it will work. Let's let's add it. Let's just add it. Uh, sorry, in the very beginning. And by the way, because query is also a unique column, there is no column query in a campaign name, uh, in the campaign table, ad group table or external customer, uh, the customer table. I also can just say date, query, campaign name, ad group name and so on and so on. OK, let's run it and see. It's very, very simple to combine a query report. Now we have the date, we have the query, we have campaign name, we have ad group name, account name, cost, impressions and clicks. And you know what? We also need to take into account that we have different currencies in our accounts in MCC. So I'm going to use account, account currency code. So I always know what this cost represents. Now I have here rubles. I also have some euro and dollars accounts, but it's very useful to see it. And if you by any chance wanted to see more detailed view, you can use it for impressions or clicks. You can create, for example, click through rate, CPC or whatever. And you know what? That's an amazing homework for you. Take this query, uh, replicate it on your own, try to see the same results, but definitely just to make it work. And then don't forget to add click through rate. And uh, if you have conversion, I don't think you have conversion data, by the way, here, let's check. Um, let's go to search query stats. And yeah, you have conversions. So you can try to make a conversion rate 
uh, by dividing uh, with the clicks or cost per conversion by dividing with cost. And you know what else it would be cool to see here? You remember when you work with the search terms in Google Ads, you have three statuses. It's added, it's excluded, and it's none. So here you also have this status. Let me show you. So it's going to be here in the preview. And here it's query targeting status. So try to filter only those queries that have a status none. So you don't take any queries that, that is already added to your account or that are excluded from your account. I hope you enjoyed this video guys. Put like, subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to add me on LinkedIn and don't forget to leave your comments below to give me feedback. And if something is not unclear, if you want something to be more detailed, you always welcome to ask me and I will try to create a video for you. Thanks a lot for watching and see you and bye bye.